Hello everyone, I'm back after a brief break. I did mention that I wasn't going to be doing a lot of videos because sometimes it's very hard for me to do the the weekly thing. Um, I did do a series of videos, you know, before my break. I, I actually had planned to do at least a, a few reviews from from various books, uh, uh, but you know, I just took my break. Um, you know, after I think that it was the contest video, which, by the way, uh, David Jacunus, David, I have your package. It was ready to to go, but the box that I was going to use uh, got thrown out, so I have no box right now that I can use. Uh, at least recyclable box so I'm actually thinking of buying a new one a new box and um, sending it out as soon as possible I mean I feel terrible that I, that it has taken so long for that package to go out um, I had planned to just uh, send it out as soon as uh, I got your address but you know when I was you know ready to put the pack the the, the, the books into the box the box was thrown out so sorry for that and I promise to get it out as soon as possible so anyways uh, what, I, what I have been doing in my break well reading comics of course and uh, just and this video actually you know we're going, I'm going to talk about uh, these books uh, last week was a very heavy week actually plan on getting seven books new, seven new books I only got six new books because ghost number five did not show up at my shop they say they have it um, I'm hoping they have copies uh, I'm gonna go tomorrow Thursday um, but um, instead I, I got a back issue so still seven books to talk about uh, and show um, so let's get down to the books uh, first off um, I'll try to be very brief because I mean let's check out this stack I mean it's a lot of books and you know there's a book or two here that are worth talking more than just a few words um, but you know I'll just be very brief with each one first off uh, Superman number 32 the uh, the first uh, G of John John Ramita issue, which I love the cover, you know, the uh, well, it's very cool. Uh, so yeah, uh, this book has gotten very good good reviews. I'm still on a bit on the fence with it because the issue itself uh, doesn't have much of a story. You know, there's not. I think there's a really a central idea to it. I mean, we do get introduced to this new character, uh, Ulysses, which, you know, is just yet another um, uh, alternate version of Superman or an alternate uh, take on on Superman. In fact, his origin is very similar, but instead of you know coming. From to Earth from another planet, you know, apparently he is either from Earth or from an alternate Earth. Um, I'm not, that's not even clear uh, as of now. Uh, then we get a bunch of stuff, you know, we got Superman fighting uh, this sort of a Titana, which is now a giant robot gorilla. We get a lot of Clark Kent, which is nice we hardly have gotten Clark um, you know we got in the Daily Planet uh, some sort of everyday stuff then you know this ship comes out you know Superman fights it uh, and then you know Ulysses makes his, his, his big appearance uh, so story wise I'm not even sure there's like a central idea you know, for for it, except probably introduce Ulysses. Uh, on a first read, I actually thought that a lot of it was filler, 
um, not really relevant to the story, you know, if there is a story in the issue. Uh, I've read it again, so I only think like maybe two panels seem not to really add anything to, to the story because the whole, you know, Titanic thing, you know, we got Jimmy and the Daily Planet stuff, that sort of makes sense to take us, you know, uh, to connect both, you know, the, the introduction of, of, of Ulysses, but uh, there's like a panel with Lewis that I see as a throwaway. Uh, then we have another panel with Jimmy uh, talking to his parents' lawyers, which has a little more promise if, if it's, you know, becoming a bit of a, of a subplot there. Um, that might be more interesting, I don't know, but I mean, the Lewis one really felt sort of throwaway. Um, maybe we are introduced in that panel to a, a new character that uh, was mentioned, you know, in the Daily Planet scene, you know, um, a reporter friend of, of Lewis's. Uh, we get like this other c character um, that shows up again in one panel which gives the impression that uh, he might have trained Superman or something it's not clear one panel and and then this Ulysses guy uh, so maybe we have at least three, three new, new characters showing up um, but you know, I'm still on the fence a bit on the story. It does feel like a typical uh, Jeff Jen Superman story because uh, when he had his run in action comics, that first issue, and I'm talking about uh, Last Sun, uh, which uh, which he co wrote with uh, Richard Donner, the director Richard Donner kind of felt like, you know, not much happened, um, so um, it does have a, a similar feeling to it. I'm hoping that as the, as, as the story progresses, you know, we do get a, a better payoff and a better feel to it because this feels like the beginning of a, of a story, but it's just like a small part of, of a much larger story, so some people might criticize it as saying you know maybe some of this stuff could have not been used or would have been less less uh, pages devoted to certain things um, but you know generally i think the impression is it, it, it's good and i'll say it's okay you know nothing mind-blowing yet um, Then we have Aquaman number 32. Uh, I'm continuing to enjoy this book. Uh, I like that Jeff Parker sort of gives us two stories in one issue. The, you know, the Aquaman story and uh, the Mara story as well. Um, this issue starts a new story arc for Aquaman when we finally get the to meet this uh, creature that was created by by those scientists in that under secret secret underwater base. Uh, um, let me see. Go, um, you know, uh, Kimara, you know this guy uh, who uh, used to be a diver who got really badly hurt. But injured by by a shark, Aquaman barely saved him. Um, the guys in I think called Tr Triton Base, when the scientists sort of decided to experiment on on him, giving him you know, uh, giving him uh, uh, various uh, uh, um, doing surgical attachments with. Uh, Experimented with him, you know, giving him various parts of, of, of various sea creatures. So um, we get this guy Kimura, which seems to be a good, a, a bit of a challenge for Aquaman because he also has that the telepathic thing, but he seems to have a more control over, over the uh, 
under Silas because basically that guy that that thing that he was turned into is mostly you know under sea creatures uh the the Mara story which sort of mixes in in um continues her um um visit to the to the uh i guess you could say the nether world you know the the place you know that even from atlantis you know that uh, sort of a region that is you know further than than the seabed you know that is also part of atlantis but you know they don't really you know care much for for what goes up higher in, in the upper levels of atlantis um she so definitely i'm enjoying you know the focus on both on both characters uh they both get equal time in, in the issue they both have their own stories going on and they don't seem to really clash or feel out of place you know i'm like i'm really liking aquaman uh flash number 32 okay i'm i'm liking the story except for the uh, whole future flash thing i don't know what it has to do with the main story uh, why it's been going on for as long as the main main story I really wanted to end I'm curious to know if there's going to be any moment when you know the future flash and you know the flash from right now meet up or I don't know and you know I really wish you know we get the point on, on those appearances and why I should really care, except you know I only care that it ends, and you know we get a point to to that. The main story is much more interesting as Barry is investigating who stole um, various weapons from from the police uh, evidence storage area. Uh, he comes close to meeting this the 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 person who who stole those uh, uh, weapons uh, but wasn't able but he wasn't able to stop him uh, we also get a little bit of a ten tension between um, Barry and uh, his girlfriend Patty now that you know Barry is spending a little more time with with uh, Wally West and and Iris so you know there's a little tension there those that's the interesting part that the whole main story but you know the subplot i would say the subplot subplots uh relating to barry in the future you know i mean he's killing villains but you know saying he's trying to rectify stuff uh, you know i don't know what the point is and i just want that to to come to uh, and then other Jeff John's book uh, Justice League number 31 okay so uh, this is mostly a talking there's a lot of talking going on in this book that good stuff comes at the very end you know when you know the Justice League are heading to you know mid um you know heading towards the uh, power rings ring that you know as you remember if you read forever evil you know um, after power ring was healed by uh, Sinestra the ring you know went to look for a new bearer you find a girl her name is Jennifer uh, so that just like finally find uh, where the ring went but at the same time you know we get the new 52 version of the Doom Patrol showing up before um, the Justice League does. Most of the issue though involves, you know, Luthor and Bruce Wayne talking, you know, telling, you know, I you know Luthor telling uh, Wayne, you know, I know you're Batman, and you know, Bruce Wayne, of course, denying it until he 
get discovered but that's probably the heaviest part of the issue you know the whole you know Luther saying yeah, I know you're Batman and Bruce Wayne just denying it but not much going on there and then there's that whole cyborg Shazam page which makes no sense uh, though I'm sure John Stewart in there so he could show uh, or start to show Cyborg and Shazam bonding but you know I don't know just like throwing, throwing in there so you know I'm still gonna be picking this book up you know now that we get into, into, into the whole power ring thing uh, I'm curious about that and uh, the other thing you know and the whole Luther and Captain Cold you know joining the Justice League uh, I mean I believe this is sort of a, all being told in flashback because what was the last issue uh, we know Luthor is with and Captain Carl with the uh, Justice League. Uh, then sort of goes back, and it seems that between that opening page in issue 30 and uh, the actual thing, there gonna be a bunch of issues, you know, that will get us to that point. So until we get to the actual point where Luthor joins the Justice League along with Captain Cold, and we get a Justice League book with Luthor, I'll probably be uh, picking this up, but I think it's just going a little too long, stretching it, you know, the whole, you know, they just, I don't know, Jeff Jones is just stretching the whole thing to get to that point. Uh, then, when the uh, All Star was number 32, so, um, it certainly feels like you know this is pretty much heading towards the end of its run it's not as great as you know it was when it started it's not as as great as you know the previous Jonah Hex when it's a Jonah, Jonah Hex series by the same team of Gray and Palmiotti uh, this one sort of was a little bit you know like they're running out of steam now and uh, ready to move on to to other things I still enjoy the story but it's not as great or as uh, you know fun as as previous issues uh, I'm not gonna say too much about this next book because it's really hard to talk about but uh, I also got Rachel Rising number 26 we like this issue um, you know the art is great and well this is one of those books where um, you know the art plays as much a, a role in telling the story as much as the writing does and uh, it's always really hard to 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 give my opinion on this book so those are the new books that i got uh, and now uh the back issue um which is Buffy season eight Buffy the Vampire Slayer season eight number eleven. So this past few weeks I uh, I've been uh, uh picking up this uh Buffy books um which is sort of you know I, I don't know um uh, I actually watched the show but back in the day, back when it was um, on its original run um, on TV after it ended um, you know like any other TV show I just moved on to, to other things and uh, never gave it a, a, a second thought you know uh, not even you know seeing the uh, like going to buy DVDs and stuff I never really sort of said oh I gotta get the uh, the um, DVD collections, you know, the um, season boxes. Um, but back in the day, though, uh, I also bought a few shows here and there of, of the Buffy series that Dark 
course was publishing until you know the series ended in 2003 uh, but it wasn't really even at that point I wasn't really like like um, you know buying Buffy comics you know on a regular basis you know just uh, an issue here or there uh, if my mood suited or whatever uh, so maybe about a month ago a little over a month ago I sort of found those old issues you know those that I bought and I read them and I reread them over and over um, and I was like thinking geez I really want to pick up more Buffy comics because they're so fun um, so finally I decided to go to the back issue box at my um, shop and see what was there so I bought some season 8 in fact this is the second season 8 book I bought uh, I bought number issue 10 I've actually bought uh, the current run which is season 10 uh, I bought issue 4 last two weeks ago along with number one which I had not seen but it was in my uh, in the back issue box uh, that that week last week though uh, I found they had another number one from season 10 and that's issue number two of season 10 uh, so you know I'm liking it so I'm, I'm actually gonna be buying a lot of of Buffy you know uh, comics because I, I really like the show like I said I haven't really seen the show since it ended but you know the while back not too long ago in fact during my uh, break I got into Netflix I, I never really you know given Netflix a try so because of the uh, 30 day trial I got into Netflix and I saw the entire series from the first episode to the last one big mistake for me because uh, you know that I mean the show is great but by season five it just starts getting really really intense and uh, actually season six it was pretty intense experience and I remember seeing those episodes back back in the day but and I guess I wasn't really paying attention and uh, you know that really happens when you watch something on TV there are a number of things that distract you from 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 what you're watching uh, but you get the commercial break that you really don't get the full effect and uh, just watching the entire series you know several episodes several episodes at a time you know and really paying attention was uh, an interesting experience for me especially like I said got really intense by season 5 especially season 6 so yeah so yeah so I don't want to ramble on more anymore um, I'm almost going for 25 minutes now and uh, I said it was gonna be a bit long um, so anyways um, it's great to be making more uh, more video it's great making another video uh, I'll probably try to do a few more I'm not even sure I'm gonna call these quick reviews. I'm just gonna. I don't know what I'm gonna call this video, but. Um, anyways, um, I will end this as I always end it. Um, sorry, my thoughts are uh, I'm a little bit distracted. So, yeah, so, anyways, um, until next time. Keep smiling.